Alright guys, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be looking at alternatives to the American Express Gold Card. And these are just alternatives within the American Express brand. So we're not going to be talking about Chase or Capital One or Discover or whatever, even though there are some good other options in those brands. This video is about two cards that I think are really, really close when it comes to value. And the fact that these cards really aren't talked about, but they are like really good alternatives to the American Express Gold Card. So let's get into the first one, which is the American Express Green Card. I'm reading directly down. Um, this card, you get three times the points at restaurants, three times the points on transit, which is not even a category on the gold card. And what I think is really, really special about this card is that you get three times the points on travel, including airfare, hotels, cruises, tours, car rentals, and more. With the NMX gold card, you're only getting three times the points on flights. So this card's giving you three times the points on travel, period, which I think is amazing, especially because the American Express green card has an annual fee of only $150, and with that, you're still getting three times the points on everything, so you're just losing, like, that one times the point with, you know, um, American Express gold card, you're getting four times the points, but the fact that you can get three times the points on hotels, cruises, tours, car rentals, and more, and I will note that with the American Express gold card, when you do book hotels through the um, hotel through the Amex portal, you do get two times the points on the hotels, I think, but it's still not three times the points, so you're actually getting kind of better value in that area here too, so um, that's pretty cool. And then we're going to look at the featured benefits. So you get $189 clear credit, which you do not get with the gold card at all. That's something you would have to upgrade to the platinum card to enjoy, so I think that's really, really unique. I'm kind of like scratching my head like, why did I not, when I got my gold card, I do have the American Express gold card, I didn't really research any other cards, so this is all news to me. $189 clear credit, um, clear uses unique attributes such as eyes or fingerprints to digitally verify identity to help its members move faster through security, so if you're traveling a lot, if you travel a lot, especially internationally, I think clear is good for international travel, um, that's a really, 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 really good perk to have a hundred dollar lounge buddy credit use the american express green card to purchase lounge access through lounge buddy to any of the lounges in the lounge buddy network and the way that this works is that you purchase the memberships for these things like clear and lounge buddy on your mx card and then they reimburse you so you'll get a statement credit for it and then there's no foreign transaction fees um, when you use your american express green card you get pay your bill in full or the pay over time feature or the planet feature so that's not really something that i see talked about a lot in videos so if you're planning a big purchase like let's say you want to take a trip to wherever you can put in the amount that you want to spend and they'll give you a fixed fee to pay instead of paying interest so that works out if you know that you're not going to be able to pay that balance off for a while and the interest is going to be greater than the fixed fee that they're going to give you so i think that's something that's pretty cool um and so that's pretty much all the benefits of it the bonus that they're um, giving me here is forty thousand membership points and with this card you only have to spend two thousand dollars um in six months with the gold card it was four thousand dollars so you have to spend half the money but you are getting significantly less membership rewards points and so that's just um that plus the fact that you're getting three times the points on restaurants and travel um are part of the reason why the card is a hundred dollars cheaper per year so i think the american express green card if you are looking to save money on an annual fee or just the MX Gold card just didn't stand out to you. You're not really with the hype. You don't see it. I think the green card is a great option. I'm really, really, really a fan of that $189 clear credit. I think that's really, really great because you get some features of the Platinum card. And this is actually like a really great travel card too because I feel like with the American Express Gold card, you know, you get, you're rewarded for eating and shopping on groceries and stuff. But there's not really a whole bunch of travel incentives such as clear and i know with the platinum card you get um uh what is it i'm gonna include it up here if i remember it but you get a whole bunch of other incentives too so i think that it's great that they included that with the green card i think that that's one of the best alternatives it doesn't get much better than that if you're looking for gold card value without the gold card annual fee price tag now let's get into the second card which this is I have both these cards, so I have the American Express Gold card and I have this card, which is the Delta Sky Miles card, but I have the business version of it, but the benefits are pretty much the exact same. So even though I have the Gold card, the American Express Gold Sky Miles card is still like neck and neck kind of my favorite card. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. So well, I'm going to tell you why right now. One of the benefits of this card is every year that you spend 10000 let me just make sure that's the same for... So yeah, every year that you spend $10,000 in a calendar year, so from January 1st to December 31st in a year, you get $100 Delta flight credit. I let mine go one year because I just didn't know what to use it on, but I just booked a trip and 
I booked the trip with like 8,000 miles for one way and then to upgrade to first class it would have been $333 or $340 something like that but then I remember that I had that credit so one way first class um, ticket was $384 but I canceled the other trip that I used my miles on and I just booked the first class ticket for $284 for one way so instead of paying 8,000 miles plus $333 I only paid $284 for the first class ticket that i think is amazing and i will just note really quickly that you get these cards and they do come with a lot of value american express is not going to hold your hand through the process and make sure that you're getting the best value along the way it's going to be up to you to make sure you know what your benefits are to make sure you're getting the best value to do your research and to compare prices and to compare options and ways to book travel there are a lot of ways you can lose money and lose value booking these trips if you're not careful and you're not aware of all your benefits because if i hadn't remembered about my hundred dollar delta flight credit i would have spent eight thousand miles and 333 dollars for one way that's insane so i got my miles back and just paid 284 so let's look at this card the annual fee is zero dollars for your first year and then after that it's only 99 dollars. that's pretty pretty cheap that's like what fifty dollars less than fifty one dollars less than the green card you get forty thousand bonus miles and you only have to spend two thousand dollars in six months so i will say this card obviously if we're comparing points and miles with miles you can only use them at delta you can't take your miles and book a trip at hilton but you can take your points and book them and use them to book a trip with hilton with delta with JetBlue, with marriott but you can only use your miles at delta so i will say that's one thing that i would consider if you don't fly delta heavily you might want to consider getting the points card because they're more versatile and you can use them at a bunch of different places of only being able to use them at delta but delta is pretty big widely accepted airline and i think most people fly delta anyway i prefer to fly delta if i can get a non-stop flight if not jet blue it is <laughs> but um so you get two times miles on groceries two times miles on delta purchases and one times a mile on anything else i'm missing something two times the miles on dining too so two times the miles on restaurants and groceries so if you're looking at the gold card and comparing it with the gold card you're getting four times the points on restaurants and groceries but the annual fee is 250 with this card the annual fee is free for your first year and 99 dollars after that but you're only getting two times the miles and i will say like I don't know something about sky miles they accumulate fast to me <laughs> i know you know the value is not the same obviously but something about sky miles and this card in particular i really really enjoy it um and now delta is doing this new thing when you have your account with them you get 15 percent off all flights which i'm not really understanding like i get that it looks nice but you have to be a sky miles member anyway so it's just like who's not getting the 15 percent off I don't know like I don't know I'm gonna leave that alone <laughs> but you get your first checked bag free so that's something that I'm pretty sure um, if you're booking with your gold card or the green card that you don't get I know that when you book it depends on the ticket you buy like with first class no matter what card you use you get two check bags free but with this card no matter where you're if you're flying main cabin if you're flying comfort plus you're still gonna get your first check bag free um we already said that said that said that you get 20 percent back on in-flight purchases which is something that you don't get on the american express green card or gold card and then you get car rental loss and damage insurance all that other stuff that takes forever to explain i'm not really gonna get into it but um yeah those two cards i think are amazing amazing options and i will say like yes the gold card you are getting the most value because even though the annual fee is 250 dollars you're getting four times the points on restaurants and groceries three times the points on flights but then you're also getting your uber eats credits your ten dollar dining credits it's not uber eats it's uber cash so you can use it to book an uber too just not not just uber eats um you know i think that it's gonna depend on your specific situation i've learned a lot from posting american express videos and credit card videos in general it's like everybody's financial situation is different everybody's finances look different everybody is different because you could be active military where the gold card annual fee could be waived for you so at that point who cares which card you have because you're not paying for it so i think that you know whatever you think is best for you i can give you the options but i can't tell you this is the best card for you because at the end of the day i don't know you so you're gonna have to make that decision but if you are looking at the gold card i would strongly consider those other options because at the end of the day i'm speaking honestly and sincerely i wish i would have considered the green card probably wouldn't have gotten it but it's still a great contender and yeah that wraps it up for this video i'll see you guys in the next one